Time for the BB mold paperweight. I'm gonna pour a bunch of these in here, then I'm gonna fill it with an epoxy. I don't know how well this is gonna work because the BBs take up so much space. I'm hoping the epoxy resin will soak through them evenly and we can get a nice little desk ornament out of this. I'm gonna leave a lot of room up top to get a little extra in there and also for sanding and stuff like that. So a little extra space there. Now let me mix the epoxy. For the epoxy, I'm doing Easy Cast Resin and Hardener. You just mix equal parts of these together. In a mixing container, stir it up and pour. Okay, here comes the pour. They say pouring it from a little bit higher helps keep your bubbles out. Pour it nice and slow, that way it can soak in and get out our little air bubbles. Alright, I'm going to take it outside, hit it with the gas torch and get rid of these bubbles. got the bubbles out with the gas torch, got it back inside. It's going to take about 24 to 48 hours to fully cure, so put it in a safe place and cover it up with something. That way you can keep out the, you know, bugs, dust, stuff like that. All right, the big BB paperweight came out pretty good. I sanded down the bottom a little bit and then I used a buffer rotary wheel on a Dremel with a little felt wheel on the bottom to polish it out a bit. It came out okay but I want to make one that the BBs come all the way to the end and I want to make a smaller one as well. So I've got this smaller ice tray here that I'm going to use. I'm going to make some smaller ones in different colors. I have the standard BBs and I have the gold copperhead BBs right here. So I'm going to do that and make another batch. I think the silver colored batch is going to come out well, however, I think the copper color, little copper head BBs, I don't think they're going to come out so well due to the rust and everything on them, but we'll see how the final product comes out. It's kind of weird that the American made product is actually the one that has all the rust on it and all the issues and the cheap Chinese made da Daisy BBs are actually the best looking ones. That's a rare thing, but you know, sometimes it happens with quality control issues, copperhead. But we'll see how they turn out. All right. Smaller paperweights came out pretty nice. I actually like them better than the full-size version. Look at that. They're just more manageable. They take less material. They're still pretty heavy. They work just fine for a paperweight. Looks super cool though. A couple little bubble spots in there I could fill in, but I'm not too worried about it. No big deal. Came out pretty sharp though. Now the one I used the copper BBs on that were kind of rusty, kind of made it like a cloudy, rusty color. It doesn't look too bad but I probably wouldn't make any more of these with these uh, the copperhead BBs. They just kind of disintegrated when I used the resin on them. Looks okay though. I just won't make a second. The big one's pretty cool. Huge and heavy. 
I think I'm going to sand off the bottom a little more, make it more even, and then buffer it out with the Dremel. But yeah, they came out pretty good. This one is definitely my favorite BB paperweight. I'm going to make some more of these little ammunition paperweights pretty soon as well in a smaller form factor. Pretty cool though.